Now in this video we will be discussing about the informed state space search. Before this we already discussed about the uninformed state space search. In uninformed state space search I told you that that space state space can be defined by four tuples which are capital S, small s, capital O and G where capital S denotes the set of states or you can say implicitly specified set of states small s denotes the set the initial state or you can say the start state the g defined the set of goal states there can be more than one set of goal states and o defined the set of operators and there may be some cost which can be associated with those set of operators and sometimes the cost is not associated with those set of operators for example when we discussed about the breadth first search and the depth first search now in that case the operators was not having any kind of cost but later on we discussed about the operators which are having some costs which are associated with them for example in traveling salesman problem the operators are having some kind of costs which are associated with them and according to those codes, costs we wanted to find a solution which should minimize the total cost now here in this case of informed state space search this informed state space search can be defined by five tuples which are capital S, uh, small s, O, G and H here capital S, small s, capital O, G all are same capital S means it is a implicitly specified set of states small s means it is the start state capital O is a set of state transition operators which are having some costs which are associated with them and G is a set of goal state and there's one more thing which is added, added to the it that is the H which is the heuristic function so H is the heuristic function estimating the distance to the goal, goal from a particular location so you can ex explain it like this uh, here the main goal is to find the minimum cost sequence of transition to the goal states assuming that this small s is representing the start state now and this there's some kind of goal state here assuming this is representing the goal state and this is some intermediate node n now if we know that from s to n there is some cost which is associated from s to n the cost is represented by the function gn that means from s uh, to reach to n the cost is gn and this is the cost of the path now from n to g that is a goal state there is some estimation of the cost and which is represented by hn this hn is presenting estimated cost estimated cost of traversal from n to goal state to goal state and here gn represent the cost of the path cost of the path now when i'm saying fn fn is the total cost fn can be given by gn plus hn where fn is the cost of the best solution that goes through n okay so it is the cost of best solution that goes through n okay and see uh, this estimated cost is actually it may not be the exact estimation of the cost sometimes the estimate as the name suggests it is the estimation it is not the exact cost so these estimations will change from time to time as we are going to update the solutions now what is this informed states uh, informed search problem is you know that you want to reach from a start state to the goal state for example you want to reach from s to g now from s to g if you want to reach there is some intermediate node and from this intermediate node you have some estimation that from this node to the goal state this is the actual cost which you are going to get but from start state to that intermediate node you know the actual cost which what has already occurred and from that intermediate node to the goal state there is some cost which this which is the estimation of reaching through that goal now when i'm saying heuristic informed heuristic now in this particular case the heuristic function is actually the estimation so every time whenever you are going to evaluate the cost from a particular path that evaluation will be based on the past cost which has already occurred plus the future cost which you are going to get or you can say the future estimation of the cost which you are going to get so the total cost to reach to the goal state will be the past cost plus the uh, hn which is 
the estimation of the cost so we are going to use this cost to reach to the goal okay now based on this informed search problem we have introduced an algorithm which is the algorithm which is called as uh, the a star algorithm and this a star algorithm is actually it is not practically implementable we don't implement the a star practically it is just a theoretical implementation implementation so before a star algorithm this algorithm which is the best first search now this best first search is just a simplified version of a star algorithm in a star algorithm there's a very very small difference between a star and the best first search so we are directly jumping on to a star algorithm currently so let us first of all let us look at what is the algorithm and then i'll explain you other algorithms also we have a o star algorithm and we will also explain the algorithms which is related to best first search and steepest hill climbing and hill climbing algorithms so we will look at them one by one so first of all let us analyze what is the a star algorithm and in this a star algorithm as you can see we are using two things number one there is something called as gs and there is something called as fs fs is equal to hs now this hs means it is a heuristic function as we specified already in the previous case that there's a when, when you want to reach to the solution then there's a some estimated cost which you're going to incur so this gs is representing the cost uh, the actual cost and this hs or you can say this gs is the value of the state at a given point of time will indicate the minimum cost path from the start state to that state okay so as you can see uh, it is c as i told you the total function the total cost will be equal to the gs plus hs that is the already cost which has already occurred plus the estimated cost now here gs in this case is representing that what is the cost that, that has already occurred which is the actual cost so you can represent or write gs like this the g value the g value of a state at a given time at a given point of time point of time will indicate will indicate the minimum cost path of time and will uh, minimum cost path so let me say will indicate the minimum cost path the minimum cost path from the start state from the start state to that particular state to that state okay so this is just an exact uh, indication of the cost now here as we already seen we we are maintaining a list which is open we have maintaining a list which is closed open is a which is going to contain the nodes which we are currently visiting and closed is going to contain the nodes which we have already visited a part of this we are going to maintain the cost that has already occurred as well as hs which is the future cost that is the estimation of the cost now then we are going to see if open is equal to empty that means if you have visited all the nodes and you cannot find the solution then you have to terminate with failure that you cannot find the solution and you have visited all the nodes but if you are not failing then select the minimum cost state n from open and save n in closed okay that means you have to select the minimum cost state okay and uh, from n whatever the states which are present in n for example if there's a state which is a is present with cost 12 which this is a state which is h is present with cost 13 there's a state which is o is present which is having the cost 9 out of all the states which are present in open select a state which is having the minimum cost and save that particular state into closed now if that state is a goal state or if that state belong to the goal state then terminate with success and return fn that means if that if you reached to a goal state from that state then you just terminate and say we found success and we are returning okay otherwise if that state is not a goal state now for each successor m of n so for for this state whatever the successors are if those successors are not present in open or closed then set gm is equal to gn plus c of nm that means this gn is the cost of reaching that particular state n plus the cost of from n to m 
that means if for example if there is a state which is n this is the start state this is n and this these are the successors of n which is m1 m2 m3 now you already know from s to n you already occurred a cost n and you know from n to m the cost is presented by cost of nm from n to reaching m the cost is nm then you are going to set the cost to reach m will be equal to gn plus cnm that means the cost which has taken to reach n plus what is the distance or what is the cost from n to m and then set fn is equal to gm plus hn fn is equal to it is the estimation it is the future uh, the goal state where we want to reach that will be equal to cost from uh, to reach to m plus from m to reach to the goal state what will be the cost that will be occurring this is the estimation this is the estimated cost and this gm is the actual cost okay so we have two things the number one is gm plus F the second one is hm where hm is the est estimated cost and gm is the uh, actual cost then insert m in open that means after calculating the cost of particular node m you want to insert m in open now otherwise if m is already belong to open or closed if n is already there then set gm is equal to minimum of gm plus gn plus cnm that means uh, set gm is already known cost and the newly found cost a part of these two cost whatever the cost is which is less you are going to take that cost and you are going to set update the cost of gm okay and set fm is equal to gm plus hn now you have to find the new value of fm correct now if fm has decreased and m belong to closed then move m to open that means if the new found newly found cost is less than the already found cost then move m to open and go to step 2 and loop it okay this is how this algorithm is working so i hope i know that uh, you will not be able to understand this one so let us do one thing let us take an example of this algorithm and uh, we'll try to solve it to find a solution of the problem okay so let us move on to that and let us uh, take an example and apply this particular algorithm on that example